Our question for you tonight is, excuse me, each candidate will be given one minute to make an opening statement. Our question for you is, excuse me, I'm sorry. Each, can, uh, each candidate will come and make the opening statement. Come to the podium, please. Bruce Lockett. I'm a candidate for the fourth ward, and I'd like to tell everybody that I'm running to try to make a change in town. Uh, my uh, platform is pretty much leveraging city resources to help youth and families, uh, create an environment that's conducive to jobs, and also improving neighborhoods by inspiring young people and people of the community to volunteer to uh, improve our community. Here in Pine Bluff. 
I've always been a supporter of this university, Pine Bluff and Jefferson County. I love to taking the calls when people call me and say that they like the street corners of uh, where they live, the lights are out, and I talk calls and want to get it straight. I love when they say they got a drainage problem, a sewer problem, I love to, you know, to do those things for those people. Also, I really like the fact that here lately we're building more houses here in Pine Bluff so that we can uh, attract more residents and uh, hopefully in the near future that we're going to attract some new businesses. Thank you. Good evening. I'm George Stipps, your fourth ward alderman. And I am a Democrat He's running for this position. I was, re I was elected most eight years ago. And I'm running on my experience and leadership that I have. And I'm a graduate of this university in 1969. And I've lived in this ward since 1965. I know the needs and I have a vision that I know is going to work for this university. Because this university is the economic engine for our city. And all of us have a part to play. And I'm going to make sure that all of us get involved and do what we need to do. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Lord A. Holcomb, Jr., candidate for first board alderman. I lived in Pine Bluff for 37 years. Proud father of two children, Larissa and Lord III. Proud pastor of Barrett Hugh Street Michigan Baptist Church, and a licensed funeral director at Henson Holcomb Mortuary. I'm running for first board alderman, looking for a new vision, a new brand of politics, and a new voice to make Pine Bluff better. Good afternoon, I'm Curtis Corbin and you're watching Pine Bluff News. Of course, right here to my left-hand side, I have Mr. Bruce Lockett. He has run for fourth ward alderman and also for the city of Pine Bluff. I was putting the community first. How's it going, Bruce Lockett? How's it going? How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Of course, we're here broadcasting live at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff at the Politician Forum here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And we're going to hear him ask a few questions that he will go ahead and ask you. And also, we're going to get him answered as well. Okay? All right, Mr. Bruce Lockett, what are your visions as Ward Alders joining forces with the mayor on improving the city of Pine Bluff? Well, 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 brother Corbin, my vision is to assist the mayor in mobilizing the citizens of this great city in solving some of our problems. And some of those problems are community development. And my vision is to get young people involved in reconstruction of houses and helping them help the elderly people paint their houses, weatherize their houses, and build up our housing stock. I also want to bring grant funding. I'm a grant writer by training, and that's what I do for a living. So I want to leverage city resources to get grants that will help our families, help our businesses, and help our communities grow and prosper. Wow, that's a wonderful, wonderful vision. As an additional, what, what are your key points as Alderman here in the city of Pine Bluff? Well, my key points are what we need here in Pine Bluff we need to improve our social and economic infrastructure. And that's helping our families, helping our businesses. My other key point is we need to do something to reduce crime. And everybody can be a crime fighter. I want everybody to keep their eyes open and watch out for their neighborhoods and work with the police in solving our crime problems here in Pine Bluff. And then the third one is creating jobs. I want to help train young people, leverage city resources to create job training programs that will help our businesses become good employees. Those are my points. Wow, we thank you so much, Bruce Lockett. We really appreciate it. Thank you all here at Pine Bluff News, and thanks for having us. All right, I'm Curtis Corbin. This is Bruce Lockett. This is the Politician Forum live at the Fine Arts Auditorium at UAPB, and you are watching Pine Bluff News. I'm Curtis Corbin, and you are watching Pine Bluff News. And right beside me, of course, I have Mr. 
Alfred Carroll, running from Ward Alderman. Also, how's it going? Good, good, Paris. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. Also, I have a question for you. Okay. The two important questions. All right. And also, the, the citizens of Pine Bluff would like to know. What are your visions as Ward Alderman joining forces with the mayor on approving the city of Pine Bluff? Well, I think well, one of the first things I'd like to suggest to the mayor is, uh, you know, I have a background in education, 32 years. So a lot of my focus comes from education. One, I'd like to see the mayor develop a, a, a mayor school, similar to that of a governor's school, to give some of our young people an opportunity to come in and see how uh, city government actually works develop some leadership skills and other, other kinds of skills, learn how to socialize and interact with other people. So I think that would be one thing I would suggest to the mayor. Uh, the, the other thing is, is that uh, the development of a think tank between the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff and CARC and uh, possibly some of our seniors at our, our three and four high schools, three high schools here in the city, uh, uh, begin to allow young people to come together and at an early age start to develop solutions the problems we've been wrestling with for years. I, I, I think a, 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 a think tank uh, of young minds could provide us some new opportunities and new directions uh, in solving problems. And then the other thing is I think that uh, uh, the city has to uh, provide leadership as far as uh, our education goes in this, in this community. We're not at all advocating that uh, uh, the city ought to get involved in the day-to-day -day operation of public schools, but we need, need to look at the idea that can this city still support three separate public school systems, plus charter schools, plus parochial schools, et cetera. So I, I, I think that the, the city would do well to provide some studies, some leadership, and, and being the moving force behind looking at uh, moving from three school districts to a single school district in this community and doing a better job of, of educating our young people, providing resources for them, providing quality teachers in the classroom, and those kinds of things. So, uh, and, and then finally, uh, uh, we've been on the uh, bubble for quite some time about a, uh, uh, a community center. We have a lot of buildings in, in Pine Bluff that are vacant. Uh, I, I'm one that advocates that we ought to build a community center. But I would much rather for us to secure the Walmart property at the Pines Mall, put in a state-of-the-art uh, youth and community center uh, to help save the mall, help uh, revitalize our economy, and provide our youth and, 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 and seniors and other citizens in this community a place to go and enjoy themselves. So uh, uh, we have over five million dollars uh, 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 laying in wait to use for this, and I think it would just be a sin and a shame to to build another structure somewhere else and continue to leave uh, facilities like uh, the vacant facility at the Pine Mall. And of course, in addition, uh, we would like Mr. Carroll, uh, for the citizens of Pine Bluff, can you give a brief uh, background check or how long you've been working here for the city of Pine Bluff as alderman? This is my 32nd year as an educator in the Pine Bluff School District. My 21st, 21st year as a building principal. Uh, I've served on the Jefferson County Court for the last 14 years. Uh, we've operated Alpha Care Ministries for the last six or seven years. So we've been quite busy here in the city, in the Jefferson County area, in uh, uh, different kinds of ways, in different avenues, all focusing back on improving the quality of life uh, 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 citizens here in Pine Bluff. Okay. In addition, it's the last question. What are your key points as Alderman for the city here in Pine Bluff? Again, uh, the development of a think tank, a think tank uh, to help solve problems, uh, establishing a standing committee uh, that's part of city government to uh, focus on, deal with, interact with our two, you know, with our two institutions of higher learning, our three uh, public school systems, uh, our charter school system, our parochial charter school system. We need a standing education committee as a part of city government to address those needs, and we also need, uh, I might say, we need to have our youth programs and youth concerns, we need to have money put in the budget as a line item, not just something we go and do, but we need to have a line item directly toward addressing the, youth, uh, the needs of our youth. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Africaro. Enjoyed it, man. Good okay. seeing you. Good Take seeing care you. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. And you are watching Pine Bluff News. Stay tuned for more. We're back. I'm Curtis Corbin, and you're watching Pine Bluff News. And of course, I'm standing right now as the fourth ward alderman, Mr. George Steps. How you doing, Mr. I'm doing great, Mr. Corbin. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you.
Okay, and also I have a question for you that yes, the sir. citizens of Pine Bluff would love to know. Now, of course, you already on the board as alderman, uh, working with the mayor already. Yes, I am. Okay. Now, what are the visions uh, to helping out with the mayor uh, so often uh, and more uh, in the city of Pine Bluff? Here's what we got going now. Uh, recently, we've had several meetings with uh, Dr. Johnson, the interim chancellor here at the university. And one of the things that we're concerned about, how can we as a city uh, collaborate with this university to enhance some changes that need to take place? And one of the things we're talking about is partnering with this university. The city has already partnered with this university, but right now we've partnered in the transportation department. It, the city provides the transportation for the van and students to go into the malls and going from class to class. As you'll notice that if you're out here, those buses are running every 30 minutes, uh, picking up students and transporting them. So we have already partnered with them. And what has to happen, as a university, we realize that this city runs when the university runs. This, this university is the engine that helped make the economy work here in Pine Bluff. Now, if the student morale is down or if the student enrollment is down, then you're not going to have very much revenue that's going to be coming into this city because every merchant that has a business in this city depends on the students from here at UAPB. And when those students are coming there and spending money at downtown, now your sales, your sales tax base has increased. And when your sales tax base increased, now you are able to do more services and things for the city. So the, what the mayor has, has done back uh, uh, last year, 2011, we spent about $300,000 um, burying the underground utility lines. Because what we are hoping to do, that we want a scenic drive down University Drive. We hope that at some time in the future that this will be all commercial businesses along University. So when you go to a city in the, down the university, you hope to see businesses all along your pathway leading into that university. So we need a scenic drive and an atmosphere here. We've also partnered with the university to put, help put that baseball stadium out there. We, we gave $50,000. Also, we gave another $50,000 to put the, uh, the uh, uh, field house there. So that we've done quite a bit of things in this city to enhance the things that need to be done here at this university. And so we're going to continue to do it because the mayor, believe it or not, the mayor has done a pretty good job because when I got on this council, this city was broke. We only had $258,000 in the reserve. And there was a time that we could even want to make payroll. But now, we have over three and a half million dollars in reserve, and, and, and we're not neglecting any city services for this city. So we know that if we are to grow, UAPB has to grow. The enrollment has to increase. And we can do that because all of us need to become recruiters for this university. We need to stop putting negative things out there about the university. I have three kids, and they all graduated from here. I got one that's practicing medicine, that's an MD in Little Rock, and I got a son that's in his third year, and I got one that's already an attorney. So I know what this university can do, because I couldn't go nowhere but here. So I chose to come here, and so did my children. And I know that we have, we got good teachers here, we got good leadership here, and I know that if we work together as a unit, I know we can make it happen. Wow, that's very awesome. Yeah. And also, Alderman uh, Steps, what are your basics, actually your, um, how long have you actually been working for the city? Uh, can you give a brief? I can give you a brief synopsis. I, I'm in my uh, uh, eighth year. Uh, I've already served one term and I'm in the last year of my second term, there are four year terms. Also, I worked five years, uh, uh, I served on the uh, uh, Parks and Recreation Commission for five years for the city. And, but I've always, been working for this university and working for this city and because several organizations that I belong to, uh, we make sizable contributions each year. Just on last week, a small organization that I belong to, we just donated uh, over $33,000 last Friday to this university. So we're putting our money where our mouth is. Yes. And we know what it's going to take to operate this university because we know it is the engine that makes these small engines work. And so we got to make sure the big engines is all in grease. And so 
we can bring the motivation back here because that Arkansas lottery thing, it it helped. But the students and things that got this extra money, it enabled them to go to some other universities that they once couldn't afford to do. So we got to go back and go back to the grassroots to come back, get back to the basics, to recruit, recruit, and recruit. That's what we're going to have to do. I just recently retired as the manager of the tax department for 37 years. I was the manager of the uh, Department of Finance Administration in Southeast Arkansas. And I had about 17 counties that I was over in five out-of-state areas. I, I had Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, Georgia, and Mississippi. Those are my areas. So I had a wide spread of experience in finances. Uh, I had 26 people that was on my staff. So, as you can see, I have a wealth of experience and knowledge when it comes to finance. And that's what we got to have, somebody that has the basic knowledge about the money and how it ought to be operated, what we can do to enhance it. Final question, Alderman Steps. In addition, uh, by checking your outstanding judgment, what are your key points as Alderman today? Here, here's some of the key points that I have. You got to have leadership. I have experience, I have experience in leadership because I came from a background where I grew up working my way through. And my experience as an alderman, and I've also served on the Dollarway School Board for more than 24 years. So I have experience in leadership, but here's some of the things that we have to do. Ms. Holcomb, Irene Holcomb, who is retiring at the end of this term, is leaving. And now I'm moving up in leadership and in experience. I'll be working on two of the most powerful committees that we have out there, which is public safety, is our fire and police department. Also, uh, 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 the, the finance department. I'll be serving on both of those committees. And I think that, that it is important that those two committees to have some leadership and some experience on that. I don't think we need to go back and start all over by trying to reinvent the wheel, by, by bringing in some new people. You got leadership at work, I think we need to keep it there. And that's why I'm running again to continue that leadership that I started eight years ago. All right, thank you so much. You. And the citizens of Pine Bluff re-elect George Steps for fourth ward alderman. And of course, experience that counts. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, thank you all too. Thank you for the interview.